I love DaVinci Resolve, that's no secret. I mean, it's free, it's super powerful, I use it for all my video editing and all my color grading. And today I'm gonna show you how to stabilize shaky footage. Super fast, super easy. Welcome to my last video of the year guys and to finish the year let's try something new. A brand new video concept, never been done before. This is the first episode of Two Minute Thursday. Wait, now that I say it out loud like that, it does sound familiar. It's like I've heard it before. Two Minute Thursday. Welcome back to... to welcome back to yet another Two Minute Thur... Yeah, it sounds familiar. I don't know. I'll have to check that. But anyway, let me show you how to stabilize shaky footage in DaVinci Resolve. Ah, the jokes, so many jokes. So we're in DaVinci Resolve and I have some shaky footage right here. Let me play it for you first. It's actually not that bad, but I want to smoothen out most of the bad shakes. Select the footage and in the inspector go to stabilize. Make sure it's on. Okay, so the first big button is obviously what you click when you're done with all the other settings. Underneath that button is the mode drop down list and this is where you set how advanced you want the stabilization to be. Perspective is the most advanced one. DaVinci Resolve will use all its power to stabilize your footage. Zoom, reposition, rotate, but also pitch and yaw. That's this kind of movement. And that's important, you'll see later why. Next is similarity and when set on this, DaVinci won't use pitch and yaw to stabilize. And finally, translation. That's the most basic stabilization. Usually, I just leave this on perspective and if the result doesn't look good, then I change this to either similarity or translation. Then we have the camera lock checkbox and I don't use this because if you check this, DaVinci will lock the camera to make it look like you shot the footage on a tripod. Of course, I don't want this for most handheld footage. Use this only when you did a static shot handheld, so when you forgot your tripod for example. Then we have zoom and this should always be checked because there's no way to stabilize the footage without zooming. If you don't check this, it will look something like this. Let me show you. Stabilize. There, so then you get all these black areas around the footage and you'll have to zoom manually anyway. Okay, and then we have the sliders. First slider is the zoom ratio. So how much will you allow DaVinci to zoom your footage? Why would you need this? Well, for example, when you have 4K footage, you can zoom more and get better stabilization without losing too much quality. But when you want to stabilize 1080 footage, then maybe you don't want to zoom as much because you'll lose quality, image quality. It's also a bit weird because you have to slide this to the left for maximum zoom and to the right for minimum zoom. Then the smooth slider all the way to the right, DaVinci will try to make your footage buttery smooth like a gimbal almost. And all the way to the left, you'll still see some handheld movement. And remember that the more smoothening you add, the more your footage will be zoomed in. And finally, strength is how strong you want the stabilization settings to be. Usually, I leave this on the maximum. Now, let me show you how I use it. So, let me stabilize this clip with the perspective setting and everything on maximum. It looks smooth, but here in the corner and in the background, it doesn't look natural. You see that wobbly thing? That's because I set it on perspective. Remember pitch and yaw? That's what gives you that weird wobble in the background sometimes. Let me lower the settings now and try translation to show you the difference. There, it's less smooth now, but the background looks more natural. That's how you use stabilization in DaVinci Resolve. Try to find a balance between good stabilization and natural looking footage. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.